Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. We're doing a range test with the A3. Uh, it's taking me a while to do this test, but I'm up here on the mountain today in Maui. We're at a spot where I can't really go to the left. There's also some clouds over there, so I'm going to go kind of straight down the mountain here towards uh, North Kihei, and I'm going to try to kind of drop it a little bit as we go down the mountain so I'm not too high. We're going to see how all this works. So anyway, let's get started with the full-on range test for the Xiaomi A3. Okay, so as you guys know that this doesn't really have a cell phone you can put on here. So it actually already comes with its own screen and everything. So I'm going to be recording this. This has an FPV record option where I can record what I'm seeing on the FPV less the telemetry. Unfortunately, you can't see the all of the telemetry and all the stuff on here. I'm also going to be recording on the drone itself in 1080. So let's go ahead and take off and see what we can do with this guy. Both sticks down and in. So up and just straight out, straight out that way. <laughs> okay, there we go, full stick forward. And just going straight out, I'm gonna bring it down a bit so that we're not going too high, but I don't wanna go down below those trees. So I think like right about there should be good. Let me tilt this camera down a bit so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so there's the trees I'm flying over and I am just keeping the antennas as I rotate the screen up to my face to see the, the video. I am turning the antennas uh, so they're perpendicular perfectly with the craft. And uh, what we're doing is we're just seeing, wow, is that it? <laughs> Boy guys, that's the, that looks like that's the full range. I'm still pushing forward and that's it. Pretty short range craft here. Let me let off the sticks and see what happens. I'm still recording on my FPV. The FPV is actually pretty good, but I lost complete total range from the craft and there really is no interference up here. I don't even have a cell phone in my pocket. So we're totally out of connection. So, let's see if it'll come back now. Yeah, it does look like it's coming back. I still have video, but my control connection is totally goners. There we go. I'm able to control the camera again now. I have the camera all the way down. And I don't even see the distance or anything. The telemetry is not even coming up. So, um, a little bit to be desired on the range for this guy, guys. Okay, now it's finally saying disconnected, returning home. And home point set success. Wow, that was quite a delayed reaction, wasn't it? Okay, distance was it's only 600 feet right now. Gosh, so it looks like we're only getting maybe like uh, a 1,000 feet of range with this one, guys. That's pretty bad. Let me see if I can turn the craft around while we're coming back yeah so if i remember correctly you can turn it but then it wants to keep pointing you know in the outward direction so <laughs> pretty low range craft let's see where it lands there's my truck over there so i'm just going to kind of you know see how close it comes and lands here and then maybe we'll try another one just to give it the benefit of the doubt you know So I'm going to back up a little bit, give it some room. See where it kind of decides to land. Pick the camera back up. So that's where it's deciding to land. That's about three or four feet off. So I'm going to adjust it myself here. Kind of pull down. It's definitely super stable, but a little bit. 
There we go. So pretty easy to control precisely in like a tight space like this, which is really good. So I guess what we'll do guys is we'll try that one more time. And um, I didn't bring any range extenders, but we'll do that in another test. Uh, but you could see that seemed like only about a thousand feet. I wasn't even looking at the telemetry here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to do that again. And I'm not even going to bring it down. I'm just going to stay straight out like at my eye level and just have it go straight out. Let's see if we get any further. So it does stop the video, so you gotta remember that. So let's start recording the onboard video again. I am still recording the FPV screen. Okay. Everything is up and recording. Here we go. Straight up, right at eye level, and I'm just gonna see how I'm pointing the antennas. I'm just gonna go straight out, full stick forward. And this time I'm gonna be really looking at my screen and the uh, the readings on the measurements here, on the telemetry. So I'll have the video and everything up. Let's go up a little bit big, a little bit more so you guys can see the bay here, the west side bay. Wow, so we lost telemetry pretty quickly. Did you see that? So not very good at all, man. I'm going to try to pull back and see if we can come back in telemetry and get a better reading. And telemetry just drops out super quick. Okay, so right at 625, 625 feet, I'm going to go forward again. 633. Yeah, so don't, don't um, buy this if you want a long range graph because you're only going to get less than a thousand feet it seems like. Okay guys, so... <laughs> That's honestly just how it's working. Uh, I'm going to do a range test though with some parabolic dishes I'm going to slip on here so that we can kind of see what's going on with the parabolic dishes and uh, see if we can get a little bit more range out of this because that's a little bit less to be desired, um, that low range. That's pretty bad, especially if there's no interference up here and no, you know, no, not even any line of sight interference or Wi-Fi or cell phone. And it seems to be... The perfect environment i do a lot of range tests on this thing um up here in this on this mountain actually and i get a lot better than this so you be the judge of how the video looks but it looks like this is going to be a very close range flyer less than a thousand feet and uh you guys let me know down in the description of the comments what you kind of think the video looks like the FPV was great. It was fine at that distance. So anyway, we'll let it come home. I always like to do a few range tests and uh, check the accuracy of the home return to home point. Let's see if it's any better this time where exactly it comes down at. Okay, this time it seems about the same, maybe a little bit better, like a foot. So it seems like as soon as I take over control and move it to the right, I don't even have to move my uh, throttle and it just stops everything. It looks like it might even try to go back into return to home and go up. So if I want to disable that, I can just press and hold auto return or just press it once. There we go. And let's try to land it again. Still have almost full battery charge. That's amazing, isn't it? Whoa. Let's see if we can land this right on this carton here. Just very carefully, right? Whoa, right there. That's good enough. Okay, so remember if you want to record your screen, you have to push in that thumbstick. So, and it's going to keep recording no matter how many times you launch and disarm. So if you want to stop this screen recording here, Push in that right thumbstick and then it'll save it to the memory card you have in here. I think I just have like a 32 gig. It doesn't have to have a, be a high speed card in here and it doesn't have to be a very high speed card in the A3 because the A3 is only 1080p, right? So you can get away with not having expensive um, like extreme speed SD cards in this. It's also cool that this one has just a screen built in so you don't have to have any cell phone and everything. So that's what's cool about this. 
unfortunately the range is not going to be good on this one i was expecting way better i was expecting at least over a thousand feet but it didn't even achieve that it seemed like 600 700 feet this thing was dropping signal so um, if you're looking for a long range craft this is not it although we are going to be back up here with those parabolic dishes i'm probably going to use the ones made for the uh, mavic since they're the same kind of antenna here they'll slip on perfectly and i'll try it again with those i expect to get at least a little more anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that kind of dual double range test for these xiaomi a3 and tell me what you think down in the description. I'll also have the links to the craft and the stuff I'm using in this video if you're interested. Again, FPV video was perfect at that range. It was just the telemetry and it seemed like the control range that dropped out, but the FPV video was fine. So we need to figure out a way to kind of up that control range so we can get farther out. Anyway, till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.